Hello, I'm Fido, your favorite tech-savvy dog pal. Today, we're diving into a classic, Applied Predictive Modeling by Max Kuhn and Shell Johnson. This is a must-read for anyone serious about predictive modeling, and your favorite dog highly recommends it. In this video, we'll unveil some key insights from Chapter 2. So, sit back, grab a treat, and let's fetch some knowledge. Let's get started. No fluff, just the good stuff. Ever wish you could peek into the future? Predictive modeling does just that. It helps us uncover hidden patterns in data to make informed guesses, like whether a startup will succeed or if a treatment will work. But humans, the choices you make before building a model impact everything. Let's roll into an example. Predicting a car's fuel economy, MPG, based on engine size. Simple linear regression seems fine at first, but uh-oh. Look at figure 2.2 in the book. It struggles with small and large engines, proving that one factor alone isn't enough. We need more data. Before I enter a dog show, I train first, then get tested. Models should do the same. Data splitting ensures we don't test on the same data we trained on, helping us see if our model works on new examples. Not all splits are the same. Interpolation means predicting within the same population. Extrapolation is when we predict for something completely new, like future car models. Pick your split wisely, human. Overfitting is like cramming for a test, memorizing answers but not understanding the concepts. A model that's too complex learns the training data too well but flops on new examples. We got to make sure our model generalizes. Tip, use simpler models, cross-validation, and regularization to keep things balanced. How do we know if a model is good? One key metric is root, mean squared error, RMSE. It tells us how far off predictions are on average. A lower RMSE, woof, good model. But always check the test set, not just training results. Choosing the right features is key. Instead of just using the engine size, we can combine it with vehicle weight to improve our predictions. This process is called feature engineering, and it makes models smarter without making them overcomplicated. Building predictive models isn't a straight path. It's a cycle. We test, refine, adjust, and test again. Think of it like training me for a new trick. I might need a few rounds of tweaks before I get it just right. All right, humans. We've sniffed out the best predictive modeling tips. Remember, data splitting, train test wisely, avoid overfitting, don't let your model memorize. Feature engineering, smart inputs equal better predictions. Iterative improvement, keep refining your model. Now go forth and model wisely. And don't forget, if you like this, give a positive review, subscribe, and where's my treat?